Liverpool head coach, largely working with former chief Michael Edwards, Jurgen Klopp has had amazing success in the transfer market over the years at Anfield. The German manager has signed the likes of Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, Virgil van Dijk, and Jenny Wijnaldum to name a few during his time at the club and has proven that he has an eye for top-level talent. However, the previous Liverpool boss, Brendan Rodgers, was no stranger to Uber gain in the market and one of his final master strokes was the signing of Danny Ings from Burnley in his last window in charge of the club in the summer of 2015. How much did Liverpool pay for Danny Ings? The club only paid an initial 6.5 million parceling to sign him from the Clarets, which was decided by a tribunal as the marksman was out of contract and went on to make a big profit on the gem. Ings, who Noel Welland once hailed as a phenomenal finisher, only ended up playing 25 first team matches for the rest in all competitions scoring four goals. However, his time with the club was marred by horrible injury luck. Between 2015, 2016, and 2016 2017 campaigns, the attacker missed a staggering 85 competitive matches due to knee injuries, which disrupted his development and did not help his efforts to become regular at Anfield. After those frustrating years for the striker, club then decided to send him out on loan in the 2018-2019 campaign and that move turned out to be a blinder. The Englishman joined Southampton on a temporary basis and plundered 7 goals and 3 assists in 24 Premier League appearances for the club. This led to the Saints snapping the Dynamo, who club once loaded as unbelievable, up on a permanent deal for a fee of 20 million parceling in the summer of 2019 until 13.5 million parceling more than what Liverpool initially paid to sign him in 2015. Ings thrived in his new home and scored 34 Premier League goals in his next two seasons combined, which shows that it was a great transfer for all parties involved. The Reds received a big free, so Hampton landed an excellent player, and the forward was able to find his best form at the top level. Therefore, Rodgers and Klopp, between them, played the blinder with Ings in picking him up for a fairly small fee before making the right choice in his development despite the injury issues, to then sell him for a huge profit. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side